Good morning my soccer universe. It has been a while that I made a video here in the car but today it works out just because yesterday in the evening I just couldn't imagine making another video uh, watching the opening games in Germany and in Spain, mostly the one in Spain which is to my detriment. To my detriment. Well, um, Bayern played Hertha to open their season. Um, kind of interesting duel because uh, coaches Kovac and Jovic very much friends with each other. I think Kovacic uh, is even the godfather to Jovic's son. So, uh, you know, there's definitely some relations between the two. Uh, and yeah, everyone expected Bayern to come out flying. However, you had newly acquired Perisic uh, with a yellow band. Stands uh, better. Coutinho is rumored to come from Barcelona, was not there either, and you know, the Sane would not be playing either. So, you know, it was kind of, um, you know, that Bayern needs help. However, when you saw the start of the game, and that's all I saw, I watched until the 23rd minute note. Um, Bayern, I watched, I was actually preparing uh, my uh, jersey reviews, uh, although I now realize I might do it slightly differently, but yeah, I collected jerseys <laughs> to make jersey pictures to make the review nicely. Well, let's get let's get to it. Uh, what I wanted to say is that um, Bayern really controlled the game and Hertha, who finally have a uh, nice jersey again, um, kind of held back and tried to keep Bayern at bay, but you know, they came with full swing and in the 24th minute, a minute after I turned, flip to, to, to the other game, Lewandowski makes it 1-0. And you think, yeah, everything is going Bayern's way. <laughs> uh, Hertha just acquired Luke Bakio from Fortuna Düsseldorf. And if you don't know the name, he scored three goals against Bayern last year in one game. So uh, that alone should have uh, told Bayern, yeah, there is a guy that you really have to watch out for. Uh, but he, in the 36th, I think, gets the ball. He's in a way far out, but uh, then takes a shot. It gets deflected by the back of Gruic and into the net. 1-1, one, one. seemingly out of, out of nowhere and gets even better. Uh, I think it was a goal kick from Bayern. And the ball comes to uh, Gruic, uh, who first had, uh, you know, hit, banked head with a, a Bayern defender. Uh, ball goes forward and then uh, it comes again to Gruic, who is suddenly uh, clear on goal and make it 2-1 for Hertha at halftime. Absolute madness. Uh, one of those where within two minutes or three minutes, uh, the game is completely turned on its head. Um, and of course, you knew what's coming in the second half, Bayern uh, trying hard, but you know, uh, Hertha could keep them well at bay. And yes, they had chances, however, their equalizer came from a bonehead uh, play uh, by Gruic, who actually was a star. He clearly, with the ball nowhere near, uh, elbowed. The, uh, a, a Bayern attacker in the box and VAR looks at it and sees it's, it, 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 it's a penalty. Yes, but the ball was nowhere near. I mean, there was no need to do that. Absolutely no need, especially if you know there's VAR. Uh, absolute madness uh, on Gruic's part, I gotta say. So, uh, really stupid Lewandowski makes it 2-2. Two -two. That's where it stands. But as I said, yes, uh, before we go further, uh, not the start that Bayern expected, but you know, every, everyone knew that Bayern is probably a little bit vulnerable until they, unless they really put in some money. If they get Coutinho, if they get Sané, maybe we'll talk about a different Bayern. I still say that they are some favorites, but you know, most people will not say, yeah, maybe there is a chance, maybe there is a chance that the big bad Bayern boys can be beaten. But, you know, all remains to be seen. Uh, as I said, I flipped over to the other, to the start of the La Liga season uh, between 
Athletic Bilbao and Barcelona and won a match to start the season. I mean, those are really true, uh, true big names. I mean, that's a big name matchup, but the match was not that great. Hey, Messi is missing, so I already was thinking, should, should I even watch Bar Barcelona if Messi is not playing? But I said, nah, Barcelona, Athletic Bilbao, that, that, that's a biggie. Uh, and yeah, it actually surprised me that at first I thought that Bilbao, I mean, again, I did not watch closely. I more was listening than watching, as I said, collecting jersey pictures. Um, but I gotta say that uh, Bilbao, especially through Iñaki Williams, who I think is sensational, had the better of the game for most of the time. Um, and it was only when uh, a little uh, when Barca kind of got towards the goal, kind of, I don't want to say freak occur uh, all occurrences, but Barca suddenly got on goal with Suarez because there was a huge um, defending mistake by Bilbao, uh, where Suarez hit the post, but he also kind of injured himself around there, so you already had the second big star going out, uh, Messi not playing, Suarez out. The Barcelona lineup did not uh, strike much intimidation in the hearts of their opponents, let's put it, put it that way. Uh, Bilbao, with a really great team effort, kind of always kept Barcelona together uh, or away from them. So this was, I think, the most interesting part, part of it. There was then um, another post, or the cross uh, of the goal hit by um, Barcelona in the second half, uh, in the first half, but not much going on there, to be honest. So yeah, uh, that was kind of disappointing. Uh, the first half of uh, Atletico Bilbao, Barcelona, the second half didn't get much better. Barcelona has more of the game, but uh, Bilbao with really nice defensive uh, effort kept Barcelona at bay. And then they get the winner in the 88th minute. You know, one of the few times that they actually uh, launched launch an attack, the ball comes in, uh, goal comes to uh, Adoris, who makes a scissor kick into the net. What a way to start the season! Not only do you have the defending champions being beat on opening day, by the way, Griezmann was a no-show. De Jong also was kind of a. Uh, my brother said this last Tuesday, he really likes how, how De Jong is asserting himself. Well, I didn't see much of De Jong yesterday. I guess they took off the schneid with their aggressive play, Bilbao that is. But Aduriz, 38 years old, came in as a sub and scores, you might argue, already the goal of the season, at least the goal of, <laughs> of the month. Uh, what a goal! Uh, if you have, if if you can see how that's watched that, that that one, really, it was an absolute amazing goal. And uh, to add insult to in injury, I thought this game is headed for a nil nil, so I just went uh, and got some water, and I didn't even see it live. Yeah. So yesterday was not. I did not have the best choices yesterday, but yeah, we had um, two rather surprising results to start the seasons in Germany and in Spain. Well, having said all that, um, today I'm gonna watch Lask, but only on TV. Uh, but you know, there will be games all over England, Germany, France. Ah, yeah, France. Uh, Lyon beat Angers emphatically 6 0, so that's also a big result. Um, but yeah, league play will resume. I probably will watch a little bit of La Liga uh, in the evening. And as I said, Lask. Uh, now that they are almost a Champions League, almost, almost a Champions League, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying much. But yeah, I'll also be preparing for the videos. Um, you probably have realized that now that I can come back, I'm trying to work on my end screen uh, v v videos. I'm not quite there where I want it to be, so I'm because uh, the thumbnails are kind of blocking the view down, so I'm working on that too. But I mo will mostly be working on the jersey reviews. And I'm actually thinking now, I mean, I have everything for Premier League uh, collected, but I have a jersey coming uh, that I actually would like to have as a background in my review. So I'm thinking, shouldn't I do La Liga first? But, you know, let's see. 
Let's see how it how what I will I, I will decide and what will go. I also I have to say that I have a lot to do at home now that the kids are away. I can actually uh, do a few things at home, uh, which also helps. But yeah, let's see where where, where, where it will go. So either it will be La Liga or it will be the Premier League. Jersey review starting soon. I'm actually shooting for now that on Monday you'll get the first video. So let's see. Maybe on Sun, maybe may, maybe tomorrow already, but most likely you'll get it on Monday. Anyway, let me know if you watched any of the two games yesterday or if you watched any other other games. Uh, let me know what you'll be watching today. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.